Hello everyone, Justin with Lucky 8 Off-Road and today I got a cool one for you. There is a carbon fiber storage box thingamabob that goes right here on your Defender 110, 90, and 130. Actually, I don't know about the 130, I'll have to check on that. But I've had this sitting around for a while. They're crazy expensive but it is legit carbon fiber and I love the concept. So I'm gonna show you how to install it. If you want your own, we got them on the site, but uh, I don't know, I think it is a cool idea. Let's get to work. Okay, the first thing we wanna do is get this little decorative plastic body trim piece off. Oh my God, I don't know if you guys can hear it. It is chucking it down out there. As the kids say, a real toad strangler. But uh, the first thing we wanna do is pull off this little plastic piece. You might be able to get your fingers in there and do it. I recommend starting at the top, getting your, everybody's got a set of plastic trim tools. Put it back in there. Come on now, let's all be friends. I just tap it like that and it'll release that upper clip. Once that upper clip is free, you can wiggle your fingers back there and pull it out on the passenger side. I open the door and it makes it even easier. So that's all you gotta do to get that out. With the plastic trim piece out of the way, you need to find the corresponding mounting plate. This one is easy to find because it's got this wacky cutout in it for the rubber hose here. Kind of sits in like so. Take one of the rivets and you can align the plate. And the rivet is going in the hole that the little plastic clips are coming out of. This one's got a bolt on the bottom. I'm going to take the bolt out, rivet everything down, and uh, report back. Hyperspeed. getting there. Next thing to do would be to put the carbon fiber box in, but I'm going to show you. Here's the, I'm calling it the sandwich plate. What that plate does, it sits inside the box and then you use it like so. Put your little allens through it and then the allen bolts to the metal plate that we pop riveted in, essentially holding the carbon fiber box to the side of the vehicle. I'll install it and then I'll do some close-ups for you so you can kind of get a better view. You can see the Allens that are in there. Just tighten them down. I used a ratchet. I wouldn't go crazy with a whole bunch of Ugga Uggas, but uh, really simple install. Well, that about wraps it up for this one. A couple of features I'll point out. It comes with a bunch of Velcro little straps. Designed to go through like so. Hold down whatever gear you want. Another thing is, it is got a foam seal, keep all the water and hopefully dust out. Boom, pretty tough. And has a little lock. Oh, look at that, safe and sound. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you want them, they are on the site, but beware, they're not cheap. I'll put a link in the description and the notes. All right, guys, see you on the next one.